Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back at Tampa Honda, of course, in Tampa, Florida. And I have something a little bit different for the Accord. This is a 2021 Honda Accord. This particular one is an SE, also known as the Special Edition trim. But before we get into this mid-size knockout of a sedan, let's talk about what's going on here. The Honda Accord, it's been around since 1976, if you could believe that. No other midsize sedan has been part of that car and driver's 10 best vehicles more than the Accord. Now, for 2021, across all the trims, we're getting some refresh styling. Plus, for 2021, we have a new trim, which is exactly what we're showcasing here, that special edition. Basically, it's taking the EX, which has gone bye-bye for 2021, that EX trim, and kind of taking all the good things from that trim and blending it with the sport trim to give you a value price leader. Now, there's a lot of value hitters in the midsize sedan. A lot of people, when they think value in midsize, they automatically think the Sonata from Hyundai or maybe the K5 from Kia. But has Honda mixed up that special sauce recipe with this special edition to give you midsize sedan at that value perfection that you're really craving for. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this 2021 Accord Special Edition and see, is it better than the Sonata? Is it better than the new K5 from Kia? Let's find out. Right off the bat, the new styling is right at the front end of the business. You're gonna get updated LED headlights. You got your LED headlights, everything on the interior is blacked out, just a little bit of silver along each of the elements there. And then you're gonna have those LED daytime running lamps. We drop down, I really love the corners of this 10th generation of the Accord with this refresh. You're gonna have functional side air curtains and LED fog lamps, a little bit of gloss black, nothing too heavy, but the great news is no fake vents to speak of. So thank you very much, Honda. The way they extend down that front fascia, very angular, and I'm really liking it. Now, as we come across the new grill, it's a, it's a love-hate thing. I think some people are loving the refresh grill. Other people, they despise it, and they want to you know, put a picture of it on their dartboard and just throw as many darts as they can at it. But I'm kind of digging it. You have this dark chrome brow up top with the Honda badge in the center, of course, and then very, very simplistic on the grill design. You just have these horizontal slots, a little bit of gloss black, a little bit of that dark chrome finish, that upgraded, updated Honda sensing technology. And the way they located it in the grill is a little bit more clean. Comparing this to the Sonata or the K5, I think Sonata, you gotta like catfish. And the reason why is, is that it has that catfish grill design. K5, it's a little bit of a toss up. The K5 is pretty aggressive on the styling. This though, even though we're getting near the end of the 10th generation of this, of this Honda Accord, it's still looking pretty fresh. Down below, I like the way they have that lower lip kind of built in, and it really just wraps up nicely into those corner areas. Now, when we get up onto the hood, everything is gonna remain the same. You got a little bit of a baby bulge, little tiny bulge going towards the windshield. Coming around the bank, guess what? On the special edition, we have some upgraded wheels. So when you look at this style of wheel, you have that nice machined aluminum finish, the gloss black. I love the way it's got that rotating blade design to it. It's a 19 inch wheel, 235 on the width, and a nice 35 series, excuse me, 40 series sidewall. It is front wheel drive, of course, because guess what? They don't make an all wheel drive Accord. And that's something a lot of people are hoping that the 11th generation of the Accord is gonna bring to the table. Midsize sedan, remember, we also are putting this up against the Mazda 6 and, of course, the mighty Toyota Camry. But loving the style of the wheel, very, very sporty on this special edition, especially with the blue. Now, as we go down the side, you're going to get gloss black. Actually, it's like a metallic gloss black on the mirror caps. Some bright, shiny metal work. I wish they would have went dark chrome, like on the grill. That would have just gave it a little bit more of a cohesive look to it. I think just regular black, flat black would have been fine. I've always liked on the 10th gen Accords, that lower body line, especially the way it kind of curves up and then flows towards the rear. Also, as we're talking about the rear, the rear quarter window as well, I've always been a fan of the shape and it's actual glass. It's interesting because if you look at the Cadillac CT5, it's got this basic shape, 
but it's a big massive piece of gloss black plastic which does not make sense it does make sense to have some actual glass coming around the tail end of the business you are going to get a metallic gloss black shark fin antenna nice low trunklet spoiler just a little bit it's just that little bit of something something that makes it pop from the back i guess the thing that everybody was heartbroken about were the tail lights it's got that stapler style tail light it's been like that since day one of the 10 generation and if you're wondering well joe what was the first year of the 10 generation it's 2018 so now we're in 2021 and we have a special edition does that mean that a redesign is coming hmm possibly coming back to the tail end of the business you got those stapler style tail lights the sport badge special edition looking clean and as we drop down same story very very simplistic but it just everything melds together perfectly now you do have these brushed aluminum trim rings on each side they look tasteful but the better news is you do have functional exhaust behind them it's not just fake exhaust like some of the competition has but why don't we go ahead let's pop the hood and see what's powering our sports special edition all right guys we got the hood popped you do have a prop rod i am going to zonk it but here's a cool thing about this prop rod you could put it under standard opening or service opening so sometimes you might be getting some service done to your accord so those service techs actually put it on the larger opening to have more access what do we have underneath that hood is going to be that 1.5 liter inline four turbocharged engine 192 horsepower 192 pound feet of torque i guess the zonk and all this under the hood talk is going to be the cvt transmission if you want 10 speed automatic which i recommend you have to step up to the sport two liter turbo but with the cvt and 192 horsepower you're looking at zero to 60 in about 6.6 .6 seconds the car weighs 3199 pounds where you're going to be the real winner is mpgs 30 in the city 38 on the highway when you're comparing it to the competition there is going to be a mixed bag of transmissions but i think like i said where this combo really shines is going to be with that fuel economy but why don't we go ahead let's get to the interior and see what the special edition brings for 2021 All right, guys we're inside the 2021 honda accord se better known as the special edition i know you're saying well joe this is perfect i'm so glad that you did this review i'm looking at mid-size sedans i was thinking of going hyundai or kia i didn't think that maybe i could get value with honda like i can with those how much is this though msrp the way that this one sits is right around thirty thousand dollars let's see what you get for the money to the door panels love the soft touch material even the way they did that design in the center there it's not just gloss black it's got some style to it it is a little bit darker door panel but i'm okay with it I, I i'm just glad there's no beige on it you have soft touch in the center nice on the armrest door pockets a little tight so maybe one chipotle burrito you could go guac just remember guac costs extra and a bottle of coca-cola to wash it down now when you go from the door panel to the dash soft touch material up top if you're wondering joe what's this on the dash that's just a shadow there's a sticky film on the windshield i can't get off right now and it's just on my hand do you see it look see but anyways that won't be there i promise i do like the trim how it came over from the door panel a little bit of silver nothing too crazy and then new for 2021 is all trims get the eight inch infotainment system it is that ipad style the great news is is you would think that the way it's pointed towards the windshield it would have glare there's no glare on it you have your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, very easy to swipe. You can move all your icons around. Let me go ahead and throw it into reverse. There's your backup camera. Doesn't take all eight inches, but it takes up a lot of it, and you could change the camera angle. Oh, I also forgot, it is a touchscreen. If you're wondering, how am I making this happen? Is this magic? No, it's just a touchscreen. It's not magic. I'm not a magician. Anyways, I'm a lot of things. I'm not a magician. Anyways, you do have a nice volume knob and a tuning knob some systems don't have that anymore the ac vent still looking great you have your dual climate control nice very nice feel to the knobs it almost feels like i'm opening up a safe you do have heated seats no ventilated seats though you got to go up the food chain for that i do like the way the start stop button glows red when you have the engine fired up and i also like the way they actually have a door watch this open sesame boom you got two usbs a 12 volt and a couple areas there where you could put easily five to six heath bars 
Everybody forgets about the Heath bar. I love toffee. I love the Heath bars. Bring them for me if you don't want them. This is going to control that CVT transmission. A little bit of silver. I like the flat black. Look, no fingerprints whatsoever. You have your standard key fob from Honda. Obviously, you take the sticker off here. We're going to do it here. Make sure nobody's watching. Lori, look behind you. Anyways, so Honda badge there. There's the key fob. You do have remote start, which is really nice. And then you're going to have your sport mode button and economics button. So if you failed economics in high school, this will make your F turn into an A. Hit that. No, what it actually does is it gives you a better fuel economy. Shut off that pesky start stop feature. I do like the finishes on the side with the stitching and a semi soft armrest with some nice stitching. Open this up. Whoa, 12 volt. You could drop a box of Twinkies in there, put it back down. On the special edition, you do get these leather seats. So I definitely want to thank the cows that sacrificed their lives for these seats because they look really good. Nice bolstering and it's electric assist for the passenger and the guy over here, the driver. The one thing you're not getting is a sunroof, which I personally don't need or want. And that's to help keep the price point where it is. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind the wheel of this special edition Accord. All right, guys, business end behind the wheel of the Accord special edition. You do get nice aluminum pedals, dead pedal, brake, and throttle on the special edition. Uh, obviously, if the passenger has electric assist, so do you, and you get the nice lower lumbar on the back portion. I love how easy it is to get to the switch gear for the seats. Steering wheel, Honda does such a great steering wheel. The thickness is spot on the money. Silver trim, flat black everywhere else. You do have a nice thumb wheel controller, and you also are going to have the paddles to go through those simulated gears with the CVT transmission, tilting and telescoping. And the dash, it's a little bit of a hybrid setup. You have a digital tachometer area, analog speedometer, and then you have those digital bar graphs for your fuel and your coolant. What's cool about the tack side is, look at this, you could actually go through different features. So if you want to see speed and time, boom. We go back to home, you want range and fuel, boom. But I want to, you know where I want to keep it. Where do I want to keep it? Yes, on the tachyometer. No, it's a tachometer, that's how you pronounce it. But there we go, right back to where we started. Plenty of headroom. I'm six feet tall if you didn't figure that out yet. Plenty of headroom. We're going to try out the back seat and then check out that trunk because I want to drive this Accord. All right, guys. What I love about this Accord compared to the competition is going to be rear seat volume. There's tons of passenger room back here. I feel really comfortable. Still plenty of headroom. Backs to the seats. Moo. It's all the cow leather all the way down the back. You have large pockets back here. You could easily put a T-bone, maybe some sirloin back here, right in that pocket for later. And then they relocated the USBs. You have two USBs, one, and there's one on this side, I promise. And they have a nice Twinkie tray. You could easily put twink three Twinkies in there. Boop, 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 easy to grab. I have my own area over here for some, uh, I don't know, some Kobe steak or something like that. I don't know. You could put just about anything back here especially when it comes to overall steaks and different meat products. But the room is great. And then you pull this down, boom. Look at that, two cup holders, because you're gonna be thirsty after eating all that, all that steak. Put it back, let's check out the cargo trunk area and see how much room we have in this Accord. All right guys, time to check out what kind of junk we could put in the trunk. Real simple, under the H, hit the button, flips up. I love the amount of room that you get in the backs of these 10 gen, 10 gen Accords. Nice wide opening, tall interior space. You're looking at about 17 cubic feet of space. I do like the way they have the levers so you could just drop down the seats. And those three dead leaves there, those brown leaves, those are included free of charge. So if you're wondering if that was an option, it's not an option. It's something that's just thrown in for free. Let's go ahead and see what we have underneath the floor mat. Underneath the cargo mat, you do have a spare in there. So good news to that. I'm gonna, and if, if you, don't believe me, I'm literally touching the spare right there with my finger, index finger to the rubber on the tire. But while we go ahead, let's get the rubber where it's meeting the road. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle in this special edition Honda. All right, guys, we're in the 2021 Honda Accord SE, that special edition. Uh, right away, I love the interior appointments. I'm so glad that when you go this trim, you're getting the power seats, you're getting the leather interior, the eight inch infotainment system is plenty. We don't need 24 inch screens. I don't care what your grandmother told you when you were little. 
you could go just fine with the eight inch infotainment system screen, especially one that works as well as this one in this Honda Accord. Visibility is great and I, I really dig the way that you don't have to have the high performance versions to have that driver engagement, at least through the steering wheel. I do have it in sport mode and yes, we do have an Accord with a CVT, which is a little bit of a bummer, but the great news is you can go with the 10 speed automatic if you wanted to. Ride quality is really nice, even with those 19 inch wheels. And the room in here is really, really ridiculous how good it is. But let's go ahead and see what passing power is like. Odd oh, throttle, here we go. So it's not a slouch, but it's also not the fastest sedan in its class with this particular engine, there's still good news, just like the transmission, you could get more power. That two liter turbocharged engine, that detuned engine from the Type R is found in the two liter turbo Accord. So that is another way to go where you could get the more power and you could get more gears or actual gears in a 10 speed automatic. Brakes feel great. The dash, when you have it on the tachometer, it almost looks like a regular analog gauge. That's how clear the graphics are. Uh, the one thing that's a little bit of a bummer is, like I said, is just you're not gonna have ventilated seats, but I think at this price point, uh, that's being a little bit nitpicky, to be honest with you. All right, guys, driving around town, very, very easy to drive, mid-size sedan. Uh, it's got, like I said, plenty of room, but it's also very, very easy to drive, and it's very smooth. Not a bunch of wind noise, which is great, the AC controls are easy to get to. The screen's easy to get to. Very, very, have I've always been impressed with this 10, genera 10 generation of the Accord. Now, the bad news is the competition has raised the bar as well. So you're definitely gonna wanna look at the Sonata and the K5, but I think for the money, having that Honda reliability and drivability, this might take the cake. Of course, you're gonna get that Honda sensing technology, the lane keep assist, the uh, you know the different features when it comes to keeping you safe overall, which is a, a pleasure and a joy to have, along with the turbocharged power, which is great. Right, guys, let's go on throttle from a dead stop, on throttle. Using the paddles. So like I said, not a barn burner, but definitely not a slouch either. I think they really found a happy medium. And for those who want more power, you have it. The paddles, you can go through those simulated gears, which is nice. And it makes it a little bit more fun to drive when, when you use the paddles compared to just letting the CVT do its rubber band thing. But hopefully this has been a nice overall feel and experience in this special edition. Definitely getting quite a bit of options and keeping it with a, within a certain price point for sure. But we're gonna get back to Tampa Honda and wrap this one up. So I will see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been another great day here at Tampa Honda. I definitely gotta thank Sam and the rest of the crew getting us access to this 2021 new trim, that special edition sport. I really think if you're looking for value, you'd be crazy not to add this to your test drive list and definitely get behind the wheel where it's gonna shine more than the others is gonna be that overall driving feel, feedback, and engagement. But if you wanna keep seeing mid-size turbocharged sedans on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you in the channel, two ways to do it. Click the first link, become a Radies Rise Patreon member. Click the second link, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Gotta give it up to the queen of the camera. She's out here wearing a sombrero because the sun, I'm telling you right now, is very intense. So thank you, Lori, for all your hard work. Show her some love in the comment section. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.